Hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. I hope all of you are keeping well. Today I have come up with a new video tutorial where I'll be explaining about how we can integrate Zap API scan with GitHub Action. So without wasting much time, let's get started. So as you see in the screen, I have a few notes which are what is covered and what is not covered. So I'll quickly explain what are these points so that you would be aware of while I'll be walking you through about all these setups. The first one is what is covered under which we'll have to perform Zap API scan integration with GitHub Actions. Of course, this is the objective of this video tutorial. And the next point is execution steps, which is how to trigger GitHub Actions manually. So I'll, I'll show you within the GitHub, how we can trigger the added GitHub actions manually. And the second options we do have is on Git events like push or pull, we can trigger the GitHub actions workflow as well. So both of these options I'll be showing you very soon. And under what is not covered, the first point says it is not a production ready script or configuration, right? So in order to perform the GitHub actions workflow, with any of these options like manually or on git events you have to write certain configurations to tell github okay go to this configuration and perform the necessary steps that are added as part of that configuration right so we have to tell github so how github will know right what configuration from where to pick and all those things right so we have to write that where and how will we write that i'll show you very soon so it's not production ready. You know, I have left some comment and some commented line and all those things. So before you, uh, I mean, copy this for your project, make sure that this is cleaned up and um, the necessary standardization have been followed before you go live. Second point is there's a known error while performing Zap API scan, but that's not related to the scope of this video. That means I'll show you what is the error. So that error is nothing uh, or not related to this uh, scope of this video. But, uh, you know, I, I was supposed to fix that, but I couldn't get time to you know, look into it. But the objective of this video is just to show you what additional steps needs to be followed so that your GitHub actions will be in a functional mode. Right. So too much talk. Let me show you the configurations that we have to write. I'll show you where exactly that configuration needs to be placed and then I'll walk you through with these two options. Okay. So as you see in the left hand side, there is a folder named as dot GitHub, right? So you have to have this folder and under that you add workflows. So workflows, right? It's a plural. So you can add n number of workflow. It depends on the requirement like, you know, how the workflow you want to design and based on that, you can have that number of configurations as well. Here in this case, I just need one workflow, which is I have named it as CI workflow, right? And where I have written the necessary configuration steps, which will be picked up by GitHub. And based on the, I mean, whenever I perform any action, GitHub will read this configuration and it will perform the necessary jobs. Right. So I'll quickly walk you through these configurations that we have in this and then uh, I'll show you a quick demo as well. So as you see the first uh, line, I mean, not exactly first line, but this one, right, uh, which is name. So nothing but it's a user defined uh, name. You can add it here, which will be reflected into your GitHub actions. So uh, in side by side, I'll show you quickly like how it appears in the GitHub action. So you see the name as Zap CI scan. I'll show you how it and where it uh, appears in these GitHub actions. So go to your repo. Currently, this repo is private. Uh, I, I'll make this uh, public and so that you know you guys can access it. So go to actions, first uh, repo and then actions. As you see here, Zap CI scan. So this is nothing but what I have uh, named this, right? So this is a workflow name. And the next one is on which action you want to trigger the GitHub action workflow, right? So as I explained earlier, currently it is on push and pull request event. 
and then what all jobs you have so currently i have two jobs which is build and scans under build as you see you have i mean i'm not doing anything because uh, with with the scope of with the scope of this video i don't have any build command so i just left left as it is right i just added some cost custom uh, message so that i can see this is reflecting in the github actions uh, process and the next one is the important one you know where i have added the necessary steps to let github know okay go and pick this job and under the under this job whatever the steps i have mentioned go and execute it right so with the scope of this video or this tutorial we have to perform a zap api scan right so you have to tell that command you have to mention the command so that when this job gets executed github will read this um, command and it will perform the necessary execution again this is nothing uh, you know we are doing fancy here it's just that whatever we were used to do in our local the same command i have just mentioned it here it's just that you know we have to know how exactly this needs to be captured as part of this configuration right so under scans job i have mentioned the name again under which machine uh, github is going to use so i mentioned that you know run on ubuntu latest and then what what all steps name we have like check out code log current directory i just wanted to see like what is the current directory so i have added that and then uh, pull the zap image and then uh, docker uh, so uh, i mean i'm using zap to docker weekly uh, for zap api scan so we have to pull that image and then puff run this command right this is the same command which i used to run in my local if i have to show you so if i type docker see right so the similar command and it's the same thing is mentioned in the uh, my previous tutorial as well so the same command i have mentioned it here so this is the con basic configuration that we have to write to let github know okay this is the workflow configuration i have written whenever i perform any such event go and execute this right so just to summarize we have to have a dot github folder under that workflows currently i have only workflow and that is nothing but a configuration file which is yaml file i'm not sure if it ex accepts a json or any other format probably i'll have to explore that but i have used yaml file and uh, you just write this configuration right and that's it so and then uh, push the final changes to uh, your respective repo right so from the configuration side this is what we have to do so first step is done now let's go to a demo part so under demo uh, I'll, I'll show you these two execution steps that i mentioned like to trigger this manually and uh, how we can trigger on git act events right and one more thing as you see here uh, under scans job uh, there are like certain steps i mentioned right i'll quickly show you when we perform manually right all these steps will get executed even this one right so let's go to github so this is our uh, github repo devsecops as I mentioned, this is currently made it uh, made it as private. Uh, I'll uh, soon make this as public so that you guys can also access it. Now, under this, as I said, go to actions and then click on this Zap API scan. This is nothing but the name workflow name that we have defined in the configuration and run workflow. So when you click on run workflow, it will ask you to select the branch name. So currently I'm going to keep this as development only. So run workflow. And as soon as you click on run workflow, you will see one events listed here. So let's wait for some time. It should appear here very soon. Generally, it comes automatically. If not, then you know, I will refresh the page. Yeah, so as you see, Zap API scan is listed here 30 seconds ago, right? So let's click on this to see the details what exactly is being executed. So as you see here, the event name is on workflow dispatch, right? It's see here, allows you to run this workflow manually, 
from the action tab right so all these okay one more thing i have to tell you so all this configuration template right so this gets generated by github itself and in order in order to support your custom changes you have to tweak this configuration okay so this is one point to be noted here so on workflow dispatch go and perform these two steps so as you see here sanity check of github action so from where this is coming so as you see in this configuration file i have you know, uh, name the job name sanity check of GitHub Actions, and the next one is Zap API scan, and that's the reason you see this name here. So, if you wanted to play with this configuration, I would I urge you to play that so that you know you'll get more confident confident if you are new to this one. And since the second job name is Zap API scan, and that is what you see here. Now, under this, we have mentioned certain steps, and if you click on this, you will see that exactly. Uh, you know steps mentioned here so set up job check out code log log current directory pull zap wasp image run zap zap api scan and post checkout code right so let's go to uh, configuration steps and see if those are listed here check out code is there log current directory that is also there right log current directory and we are pulling this um, zap wasp image that is also listed here and finally run zap api scan and that is what is being executed and this is nothing but it is basically executing these specific steps and this would take some time because you know it has to perform the scan so you can see all these things in detail so let's wait to get this over and uh, I think uh, it would take around two minutes something but before that uh, I'll, I'll try explaining a few more points so in the second notes I have mentioned that you know uh, there's a known error right so that known error will appear here once this zap API scan, get, scan gets over so I'll show you that meanwhile since this is getting uh, executed meanwhile I'll show you that see it is uh it is marked as or it is showing as like can uh, error right but actually this is uh there's no error okay even this gets over so now if you see here it will show you the exactly uh you know, the detail log which gets executed or you might have seen while doing the zap api scan in your lo local right so everything is pass pass this is passed and yeah this is the error which i was talking about like process completed with exit code 2 so uh, i don't think this is related to this uh, zap api scan uh, failure is uh, something related to you know the way we are uh, the way it is basically executing the uh, exiting the uh, uh, script execution command so i'll have to look into this but as i said this is nothing related to zap api scan so don't worry about this and as you see finally everything is done right so yeah this uh, pretty simple uh, but this is we have performed it manually now let's see how we can uh, initiate the github action workflow through the command so what for that what i'll do is i'll go to my terminal so that i can make some changes and then i'll let's see if any okay. There will be many changes. Okay. What I'll do is uh, for now I'll just update the README file. I'll just say this is zap. And then right. Get a status. Get add. I'll just add that change because I'm not 100% sure why these many configurations I might be I might have created you know while experimenting but I don't want it to pull uh, push all those changes so I'll just push the readme yes okay let's see that's get added yes get commit okay 
ggp is basically nothing but it will push that change right so our target is or, or ideally it should have triggered the action see as soon as push event gets triggered it is recognized by github and uh, it will show you what exactly message you have added com commit message you have added and we have added it as readme updated right and that is what you see here and under that if you go you'll see exactly the same thing that we have seen while performing the manual scan sorry uh, uh, manual workflow github action workflow trigger right so that is what exactly is happening here so i hope you guys are clear now uh, how to uh, integrate a zap api scan with github actions what all things we have to do it uh, right so just i'll quickly summarize it in order to integrate zap api scan with github actions you have to have that command uh, ready which which will be responsible to perform the zap api scan and since this is a command that you have to tell github okay go and execute this right so how that will get executed so for that you have to have a configuration file workflow configuration file which needs to be placed under github workflows and once you place this push this change so that github will know nope this is the file which i am expecting and this is present so this will get picked up by github on these actions I guess there are few more events which you can add it here just explore that i haven't explored uh, more options here but the two options on these events also you can trigger it just now i have showed you you know how we can uh, trigger that on push event and the second one is go to a specific repo and under that repo go to actions and then click on uh, workflow name and then finally click on run workflow under which you wanted to perform the workflow right so yes uh, that's it uh, in order to integrate the zap ci scan with github actions and uh, this is not only zap ci scan right or zap api scan you can integrate with github actions uh, if you wanted to perform any action any uh, basically if you want to execute any script or any job, uh, job through the github actions you have to have this workflow configuration file written that's all right so irrespective of zap api scan or any other scan or any other job that you want to execute just have that workflow configuration written here and then push that change to that respective repo and you will be fine with the uh, github action integration so with that i'll uh, end the video here and if you have any questions please reach out to me and uh, this is my contact where you can reach me out right so contact leave a message if you need any uh, more information in detail this is my contact number and email id if you need any other help or support please do reach, reach out to me through this I'll definitely uh, get back to you as soon as uh, I get time, right? So with that, have a very good day ahead and take care of yourself. Thank you.